Hey everybody, what's going on? Anonymous 2K back on Marvel Contest of Champions and today we have a new event coming on and we have message from the collector. The Lunar New Year event begins. All right, this event is for a set of about two weeks. All right, and it starts right today, 24th of January, 2017. And this event has three parts to it. I mean, it's divided by three. What do I mean? We have the New Year event quests. We have a new quest for it. We have the New Year event spe uh, special event calendar. And we have the New Year gifting alliance event. All right, we're going to talk a little, little bit um, of each uh, in a second. What we have is the ability to gain some more stuff from uh, the game using those uh, red pockets and the greater red pockets. Let's just start with the uh, red pockets. You have a chance of obtaining four star uh, shards, premium shards, a tier two or a tier three class um, ISO eights and or gold. All right. Uh, with the greater red pockets, you have a chance of obtaining five star shards, a premium hero shard as well, a tier three class ISO eights or tier four class ISO eights, class ISO eights or a tier four class catalyst fragments and of course you can obtain gold as well and units in the in the greater one you have option of units the question is how much it's the first time and as far as i'm playing the game almost year and a half two years now that something like this is available so nobody actually knows uh and of course uh we have the gifting badge if you don't have it up until now how you receive the gifting badge it's basically when the gifting is uh, available you can purchase something over 30 us dollars if i'm not mistaken and you receive the gifting ability for good i do have it on my account but if you don't you still receive that as well i'm not uh, i'm not right wrong right okay so let's just jump to it as i said we have three three parts for uh, this event. The first part is the calendar. We have this calendar that we receive uh, nice things with increments of eight. <laughs> we have on a second day, 888 gold. We have the third day, one uh, red, bag, uh, red pocket. We have 88 shards, nothing big. We have on the day five, 888 um, premium crystal shards as well. Uh, one uh, tier two revive uh, potion, right? Not mistaken, yes. Tier two revive potion. On day seven, we have two uh, red pockets. On day eight, it's already uh, starts beginning to be nice. It's 88 units. Then we have the 888 uh, premium crystal shards, the gold. 88 four star shards, then three red uh, pockets, then we have the 888 uh, five star crystal shards, and the best, of course, save for last for the day 14, it's eight tier five, uh, not tier five, sorry, eight five star um, signature ability stones. Those are the generic ones. So no matter who you have awakened already, you can use that on. It's not a class specific, it's to anyone that you want. So it's a very, very, very good price. In my personal opinion, the best price is on day 14. The second best is uh, somewhere between uh, day 13 or day eight, because both of them are extremely good. So those are the three biggest prizes in my opinion on the calendar. It's very important to understand that this calendar has no grace days. That means that if you lose a day, it's gone, right? It's not gonna reset, so it's gone. So you should log in every single day and it's basically pretty easy. You know, logging in just for a few seconds, getting in, and if you don't wanna play that day, you just can get out, that's okay. That is as far as the um, calendar goes. The second thing we have the gifting event, all right? We have the gifting event. Let's go to the gifting event. There we have the 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 lunar new year gifting event. Just to understand what does it mean? It means that every single time that you have you gift a red pocket, you receive 100 points, all right? Okay, so what do you get? for that for those hundred points of course it's not a personal it's an alliance one so if someone in your alliance gifts everybody get the the milestone all right so what do we have here we have as you can see as the prices we have no rank rewards 
all right so only uh, milestones and on the first milestone in my opinion that's one of the only good um, offers that we have is the greater red pocket all right with the five star and everything uh, you have to gift two um, 20 of those red pockets because the minimum is 2000 so if you go over the rank 2 it's a team uh, health potion not really using those you mostly sell um, milestone 3 it's a yeah it's a level 3 alliance team revive I don't really use those either way and we do have like level 1s and 2s are just selling this is the uh, milestone 4 the 8000 points Milestone five, of course, everything in uh, for the alliance six and seven, the 3600 tier two um, alpha catalyst fragments. Okay, it's not a bad reward if you can get it, but in my opinion, you shouldn't go with jump overhead and you know go crazy uh, just to get it. All right, it's just 3600, you get it once a month at least, uh, doing the doing the master mode and you can sell the tier ones as well and you get 120 uh from the selling tier ones and everybody has those tier one alphas like laying around like crazy so uh not a bad not a bad um lunar event gifting for the 14 days but not as crazy as uh as everybody thought it would be not as good right it, it, it's okay it's okay so yes, this is the second one. So let's go ahead and check how do you, do we gift. Let's go into the alliance. There we go. I have actually looked and I cannot find it. But the thing is that real quick, you can gift boosts, items as well if you need. But the crystals, right? You can gift a red pocket, the regular ones. You cannot gift the, uh, the greater red pockets, but you can gift those ones, all right? Uh, the thing is that on the top, if you can take a look, you have the available uh, units, 2,940, that's what I have. And on the uh, right side, we have that, um, I don't even know that what that is. It's a car or something with a dragon on it. And I do have that at zero. So the question is that I really don't know how you get them. If you do know, please let me know in the comment section down below. And when you gift those red pockets, you re it, it doesn't cost any units, it just costs that. So I really have no idea how you get them. Let's just try it. Um, where are you at? Let's just try our leader. Where is you know what? Let's just give something to him. Let's try if we can. I don't know. One confirm. Nope. Oh, so you have to go to quest to get them. All right, so we're gonna go to quest in a second and check that out. So, this is how you gift it. And in order to gift, you have to have um one of those cards right and to get those cards you need to go to the quest so let's go to the quests and this is where the third part of the event coming in and unfortunately i don't have it right now because i'm in a quest so what i'm going to do i'm going to finish it real quick and come back all right so hong and hang on that uh finished up the quest right now we're going to go in and check out the third part as we said the Lunar New Year event quest. There we have it. Um, if we take a look for the prizes, uh, for completing, you receive two of those red pocket tickets. Yeah, those are the names, red pocket tickets. One red pocket, and then um, explore, exploring um, the quest, you receive eight more. So you have 10 total, all right? So do we get more? Let's just take a look. We get some packets. No. So basically to gift, everybody in the alliance has to 
they have to do the quest, right? Uh, let's just take a look at the quest. One er energy per one. I don't think that it will be hard to um, go through the quest because the last notice that um, the collector sent, it says that it's not going to be that high. Let's just take a look. No, it's super easy as I see. I do believe that I do believe again I'm not saying that it's definitely gonna be like that but I do believe since it's just one um, energy per tile it's going to be somewhere around normal I want to say ranked um, let's just take a look normal not heroic I don't I really don't believe it's gonna go up to her like somewhere like 1,000 maybe 2,000 um, PI as far as the chapter 3 goes as far as the boss I have not yet finished it didn't do it so that's what I believe so let's go back again and jump and see the the event there we go so 2000 15,000 points so to get this let's let me do, take the calculator out there. okay so you receive 10 um, 10 tickets for the for completing fully the quests and each ticket is a hundred points because each ticket you can gift one so it's a hundred points so 10 times a hundred it's a 1,000 points each and every member can get up to 1,000 points maximum all right and you do have 30 uh, 30 members in an alliance so what if the alliance fully goes for the event you can get up to 30 thousand points so in order to get for the uh, to the last milestone what you need is half of that so basically what it says that on average half of the alliance has to finish up the uh, the quest i do believe that most of the people are gonna finish it uh, are gonna um complete it for one time and they're gonna get two of them so it's about two um 100 points each times 30, so six. If each and every uh, Alliance member completes it, you will get to milestone three. But in order to receive all the all the milestones, what you need to do is uh, fully explore it up until the end. At least it's just a half of it. So it's not that hard, it's doable. It's just, I do believe that it's very, very easy. And, um, I do believe that most of the alliances will do get it because max you can get is thirty thousand. I know not everybody's uh, com completely going to do it, but still, it's pretty easy to get it. Uh, that's what I think. Everything every alliance has those ten guys that are totally uh, committed. So, um, yeah, those are my thoughts actually for the all the three events. We have the uh, gifting event. This is nice. It's a nice thing in my opinion that they're doing something that you need to grind for it in, in order to gift and give somebody else uh, something. I would really uh, suggest you will gift in your alliance and not uh, out to the uh, to the public, out to the um, um, general, uh, out to the global. Sorry, forgot the name again. Uh, because there are a lot of scammers you, you know they ask you send me this and i'm gonna send it back and they're not gonna send it back so do uh do try to avoid that so in my opinion it's easy it's cool that it's not gonna cost any real money or units to get all those stuff it's something new that um kabam did on marble don't know uh, and i do like it and i hope they're gonna do it again because it's didn't we just see that did we claim it? Oh, all right. Perfect. So I do think it's a nice thing that Kabam did, and I do appreciate it, and I hope they do something like that again so people will not have to spend money or units to get those extra things um, for the game for themselves. So uh, as always, guys, um, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. There are more uh, content to come. And if you liked it, give it a, give it a thumbs up. See you guys in the next one.